incredible image snapped by NASA astronaut, an incredible photo of the Uluru Mound from International Space Station. This is an aerial view of it. It's in the middle of nowhere. And uh, even though it's considered a sacred mound by the Aborigines of Australia, who are in charge of uh, being its caretakers, its uh, keepers, there are people who try to climb it. And uh, this is an overhead view taken from the ISS. As you can see, it's in the middle of nowhere, absolutely barren. And uh, basically, uh, from what I, uh, the uh, previous video we did on this a couple of days ago, they don't know what kind of a, uh, a formation this is. But uh, NASA astronaut David St. Jacques has taken this amazing Im image of the uh, Australian landmark Uluru, of course, from the International Space Station. Tom Fish Express UK reports. It's known as Ayers Rock, Uluru. It's a massive sandstone monolith. It sits in the heart of the Australia's arid red center. This rusty red rock is known the world over. It looms over the otherwise barren desert, but Uluru has been rendered almost recognizable in a photograph taken by NASA's astronaut aboard the International Space Station. Canadian Space Agency astronaut Saint-Jacques embarked on his first ever ISS mission, December 2018, and uh, he's been up there since then. He's busy conducting science experiments and testing technology. And last weekend, ISS crew member posted this wonderful image of Uluru, captured from 250 miles up above Earth. Saint-Jacques wrote on Facebook, Sunrise over the sacred Uluru, Aka Ayers Rock of Central Australia. He says, I was impressed how easy it was to spot it from space, of course, because it sits in the middle of the desert. It's not the first time St. Jacques shared photographs from outer space. He tweeted another picture of Central Australia, barren interior, earlier in the year. The image of Uluru immediately went viral on Facebook, garnering more than 2,000 likes over 120 comments. Fran Hughes added, incredible picture, amazing how I could see that, this, that you have seen it from space. And Janice Theriot succinctly summed up, what the rest of us are all thinking with a wow. Alexander Gerst, German astronomer with NASA, earlier captured the Aurora Borealis from above as well and posting images on Twitter feed. Mind blowing every single time. The Aurora Borealis. And there's images here if you want to see. He says, I wonder what early explorers thought when they first saw an aurora without ever having heard about it. Aurora Borealis, as we know, is the northern lights. Naturally, phenomenon occurring due to reactions between the Earth's magnetic field and charged particles coming from the solar wind. NASA spokesperson added auroras are one, of, uh, one effect of such energetic particles can speed out from the sun, both in a steady stream called solar wind due to giant eruptions known as coronal mass ejections. And after the trip towards Earth that can last two or three days, the solar particles and magnetic fields cause the release of particles already trapped near Earth, which in turn trigger reactions in the upper atmosphere in which oxygen, nitrogen molecules release photons of light. I saw this once in Canada. It was uh, early, late February, late at night. It was almost, well, it was quite low. <laughs> it seemed quite low to me anyway. And uh, it was just fantastic. It, was, it looked like a rainbow of colors, not just green or blue. And uh, it, it was shimmering like a sheet above our heads and with absolutely no noise whatsoever. Really mesmerizing. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. 
Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.